We are going to Dry Creek Ranch. We're gonna be working their, their fall calving herd, so we're gonna give them their vaccines and we're gonna get the cows their reproductive vaccine and try to get them pregnant so they'll have a calf again next year, so. It would be hard to accuse these guys of not caring for their cattle. Every person in this house gets up at five and goes down there to take care of those cattle. That's important. Morning, Tom. Morning, Tom. My name's Tom Wright. My operation mainly now is a cow-calf operation. I'm the beginning of the process. That's where the baby calf is born. I wean at six months, and then they will have to be fed out in a feed yard before they get to the end table, which is 18 months to, uh, to two years. We have to have a live calf to have anything to sell, so that's the most important part is getting the cows bred and having a calf every year. I am the start of the process in making beef for America. So, Melissa, looks like we got uh, calves first. Okay. My cattle are extra gentle. I'll handle them all the time. And that really helps when you're working them. It takes a lot of the stress out of the way. It's easier for Doc, it's easier for us, so. It just makes the whole process go a lot easier. We'll make sure our squeeze sheet is the right size for the animal. This is a squeeze chute, just a device that we use to restrain the cattle while we're giving them their shots. They are an animal, you have to control them. Uh, you have to put them in there because if you try to do it without that, they'll hurt you. That's just their reaction. There is a lot of talk about the humane way of treating cattle. If you take your time with them and, and make sure that your herd has, has good cattle in them, everything works out well. They're bringing the young calves through. This is a time in the young calves' life where we give them vaccines to set, set their immune system up to uh, protect them the rest of their life. So they're about uh, almost three months old now, so they're getting their first set of vaccines and deworming. Do you like one on each side? Actually, you can put them both right there. Vaccine and disease control are certainly critical for him to be able to run his operation effectively. That's no different than vaccinating your children before they go to school. The vaccines play the same role in cattle. They help their lives be better. You done, Melissa? Yes. Kristen, you have that backup bar over there. Put it behind Oki. There you go. My girls have all grown up around this, so it's easy to tell them what to do. They jump right in and do it. My name is Kristen Clinney. I am a third year veterinary student at the University of Missouri, Columbia. Uh, today, I had a few days off of school, and so Dad wanted to make sure we got the cattle work while I was home. This is Kristen's can. This is a This is Cy. Cy? If I have a student that convinces me they're legitimately as crazy about this profession as I am, I'm very passionate about helping them. I think it's worth the investment. I have had the opportunity to work with Dr. Gross since I was 15 years old. He started out as a mentor for me and it just helped me really develop that passion I have for the cattle industry. You know, there's, there's not very many of us that work in beef production anymore. I've kind of steered her in directions that I think she's going to be a, she's going to impact this business at some level. It's it here. We're going to clean up. This group of fall calving cows, our next scheduled event will be around weaning time. And I'm real happy with this group. We consider ourselves to be pretty good stockmen and kind of have a little pride on how we take care of our cattle. Um, it's in our best interest to take the best care of them we can. And we just don't come in and think about it every now and then. You know, it's part of our daily lives. Uh, I have clients in my practice that range from 25 cows um, all the way up to uh, 1,100 cows. And I consult for a client that has uh, over 100,000 cows. We're at Bollinger Farms, a stocker operation in California, Missouri. We'll buy anywhere from 300 to 2,000 calves a week. Dr. Groves uh, helps us immensely care for all these cattle. Uh, he's our right-hand man. We're here to kind of inspect some cattle that are going out, shipped out today to Nebraska, and at the same time, we're, we're receiving some cattle from Kentucky. 
a load of stalker calves just arriving from a trip from Kentucky. They're bought in sale barn in Kentucky. I'm actually kind of happy with the way they look. I'm especially happy about how easy they're coming off, nice and gentle. They don't seem too stressed out. We can see these cattle doing better when we do a better job taking care of them. I think you've seen facilities designed for cattle comfort. I've seen, you know, fresh water, plenty of space to eat, plenty of feed, alleyways designed to take advantage of cattle's natural behavior. We found all those practices very rewarding, not just because we feel better about handling the cattle, but the cattle do better for us. I think that the livestock uh, in general is, is, is treated very well. I mean, if you look around, you can see the cattle are comfortable. They're, they've, they've been fed today, and they, they're, they're laying around and uh, just about as comfortable as they can get. They're here for a reason, and we have to get them there to that point where we can, we can utilize the, the uh, food resources. And it's, it's to anybody's advantage that raises them, feeds them to keep the cattle or, or hogs, whatever it might be, as comfortable as you can keep them. Animal welfare is important to the success of these operations because it's an important key part of having productive cattle. It's important to our culture. It's important to the, the consumers that buy what we produce. And we don't lose the fact that uh, what we're working with is eventually going to be somebody's food supply. Um, we take it very seriously and we just make sure we do it right. I actually can't regret a day uh, as a veterinarian. I find it very satisfying, very rewarding.